We are Caitlin and Blair. We moved into our Mazda CX-5 for eight months and are exploring the U.S. Our first trip took us through Northern California and Central Oregon, and now we're at the start of trip two, exploring the Oregon coast, Washington, and Canada. And on our way to the coast, we're jumping on the Rogue River. We booked a half-day afternoon river rafting adventure. Blown on up. like to break it. Wicked awesome class one we're about to run. Okay, so wait. I'm going to say, oh, forward, go, go, go. Rock bumping practice nice. for later. on the bow. Oh, uh, like no hand? No hand. No hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. On my feet? Yeah, 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 for sure. Feet. All right. All right, left side. Bash, right side forward, do one paddle. Okay, just Go. one. One. Oh my God. I All right, give me one more. All right, go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lifting you up. <laughs> Good that job. <laughs> Thank you. So let me fill you in on the Rogue River. The headwaters begin in Crater Lake and flows 215 river miles into the Pacific Ocean at Gold Beach. The river's been renamed a lot by a bunch of dudes throughout history. But the name that stuck was River of the Rogues by the French on an expedition in 1833. The name is in reference to the Paleo Indians, not the river itself, which is a common misconception. Briefly in 1854, the Oregon legislature renamed the river Gold River because of all the active gold mines in the area, but nobody was into it. So a year later, they were forced to rename it Rogue River. But you're not, I don't think camera touch happened. Can't touch. Well, can't, can't touch, touch this, this and then I go back. You yeah. go back on can't touch. Can't touch. We on hammer backwards. Time, Four, one, two, stop. Can't touch this. By the way, if I were going to raft on the Rogue again, I would do their Nugget Falls tour because that's class threes and fours, and I feel like I'm ready for that. We were just about to drive the longer route and start at the bottom of the coast when our guide convinced us to take the Gold Coast Highway, which is a little longer time-wise, but way more scenic and only open in the summer. drug deal but it's literally just vitamins. Listen, we're trying to stay healthy on the road. COVID man, Delta variant. Can you tell us what's in here really quick? Probiotic, multivitamin, we're currently on a gut cleanse, uh, vitamin C, ashwagandha, ashwagandha, like a skin and hair vitamin. There you go. 
We go down there. I slept good. They had bad dreams. No. <coughs> bad dreams. It was comfy. We got our little windows open. Yeah. Imaginary coffee. I can't eat this carrot coffee. Imaginary coffee. No. Open door. <laughs> I don't think that was the footage you were quite looking for. That was good. I'll film you. I think I have lots of things <laughs> on the door, so I feel like I'm getting birthed. Do you want to open the back for you? Yeah, sure. Good morning. I have to pee really bad. Okay. <laughs> so do I, but not really bad. The table. Okay. <laughs> Taking me over to the table. <laughs> Are you on? Yeah. Yay. Oh. Thank you. Let's call this cat. Has a cage in the little window. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. So all the RVs are in the front on the entrance side, and all the tent camping is hidden in the back. Here we are, secluded from every RV. <laughs> no one must know they're here. Here's our car. Everyone's confused why we don't have a tent up. All right, so have you ever gone for a car ride? And then you go to open your cooler, and you can't open it. It's stuck. It's because a vacuum sealed. You need to find your valve. Let out the air. And then, no problem. Time to explore Gold Beach. Tour, we stopped by their free museum across the street to learn a little bit more about the Rogue River. All right, so have you learned everything there is to learn? This is a lot to process, but this wall gives a ton of information. <laughs> okay, give me the cliff notes. Super cool thing is like there was this Ferengia formed between the Asian continent and the North American continent, and that's why they think the Paleo Indians came across. He came down. They followed a bunch of like bison and stuff. But plot twist. Yeah. It was like Game of Thrones. So when Crater Lake was going on, this like messed up um, some stuff was going on with the Rogue River. What I'm trying to say is when Mount Mazama erupted, it destroyed hunting and fishing grounds along the Rogue River used by the Paleo Indians. And thankfully, Mother Nature did its thing, and decades later, everything was able to flourish. There's just like a lot of things that happened when that was happening. <laughs> We were told to layer up for Jerry's boat ride, so we are getting our layers on. Trip. Everybody on the right boat, express whitewater. Guys, I have never once gone down at the boat I've sunk. Welcome to Jerry's Rope Jet. Ready to go.
how do we feel about spinning this boat? Yeah. yeah. It's so much fun. It's like, and it's so fast, but it's like, it's great. I love it. You gonna take off some layers? I got roasted. <laughs> Bend. Oh, hi there. Hi there. LA. 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 Oh my gosh. So you just went on the catalog and got all the mountaineers. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to Oregon. What should I wear? But I'm okay with it because I have just the amount of layers that I need. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. I definitely was like, are we gonna do this all day? I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this. It started yesterday. Yeah, you started like yesterday. Put it off. Yeah, I put it off yesterday because like the whitewater rafting was fun. Um, but yeah, this was so much. This is like really fun. This is really like it's just you're going so fast, so you get like soaked, but then you get dried off really quick, yeah. and you're just like, ah. like it's thrilling, like it, thrilling. Yeah. It is a thrill. And we're gonna get barbecue and I oh, is there a barbecue? Like, so I think barbecue. everything is ours. I think this is our barbecue. Mm. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh. See? Told you it's our barbecue. It's oh my god, literally. it's moving Whoa. it. <laughs> Caitlin will not stop filming this bee eating. Okay, I have to show you this video. That is just so disturbing. I'm zoomed in, so it looks like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. No, <laughs> oh, I can't believe they eat meat. Stop. I can't. Also, we learned they still do the mail service. So the morning boat and the evening boat on the mail route actually take mail up the river. And there's a bee. <laughs> So in the 1850s, gold miners, fur trappers, and explorers started moving into the Rogue River Canyon. And originally the closest post office was on the north side of the river and the mail had to be carried by pack mules. Well, this brilliant man, Elijah Price, petitioned that he could move the mail more efficiently by boat. So after a one year trial period, the river mail route was established in 1896. Oh, wave bye bye to Agnes. We don't have four wheel drive, we just walk. Four wheel drive. <laughs> Holy cow, 
Today was amazing. I basically live here now. I'm going to apply to work at Jerry's Rogue Jet. Yes. So it'll be great. I really like our RV park that we're staying at. The Indian Creek. Cl Oak Creek. Yes. Indian Creek RV Park. Perfect location. Yeah. Cute little town. Great coffee. Other than that... I don't know how much else there is to do here, but it's great. Yeah, it's like a drive through town. Yeah. I think you could send a day here. Definitely have to do Jerry's Rogue Jets, though. Yeah, it's so pretty. So much uh -huh. fun. Next up, ATVing on the sand dunes. Oh! And we try sandboarding our own way. Just like sitting in a puddle. Yeah. I don't know what else to do about that. English commands. GoPro, start recording. Cool. Nice. Yeah.